In this video, you'll learn how to create Devin Jaffo's glowing textile that he uses to generate millions of views. But before we dive in, make sure to go check out my amazing editing packs and presets made specifically for short form content to generate high quality videos and help you save a bunch of time just like all your favorite creators. More information will be about that in the link description. I'm Editing Torsten. Now let's create this effect. So this is the effect that we're gonna be creating. You can see it has a nice glow also with like kind of a stroke around it. That stroke adds a lot of character to his video. You can see I have my Devin to the left. All I want you to do is search up one VR glow. So search up VR glow, it's gonna be right here. Drag it onto layer. You can see it already gives us that kind of glow, but his is a, a little better. So let's just mess with the settings. Go into your effects control. Let me bring this out a little bit. And you can see my VR glow is right here. I'm gonna make sure that's the same color as that. And I, what I wanna do is up this threshold a little bit. So about all the way one, and you wanna play with the radius. His is really compact into it to make like the middle super bright. So you can do that and then you can up the brightness just like this to even get it brighter. So I'm gonna do about 1.2 looks about the same as his. And let's also mess with this glow radius just a bit about right there 99 and 1.2 you guys can use and last but not least now let's add this stroke that gives it that more characteristic type look just go into your properties tab hit devon use whatever font you guys want i use monastret it gives it kind of his type of style his is more like a kiddish but mine's like more professional and it just all around looks really good so i definitely recommend using that but in order to get this stroke just come into it make sure you're on the devon Hit this stroke right here, it'll be whatever color, and turn it to black. And he doesn't use a super bold one, so let's just up it to like that. That looks pretty good. See now when I zoom in, it kind of reflects off of it and gives it that nice kind of silver touch. And that's how you get that. Now let's go and make that shake effect that you guys want. There's two ways that you can do this. One's gonna be super fast and easy, just a drag and drop process. And the other way is gonna be really time consuming and you don't really wanna do it every time but I'll show you how to do both of them. And let's start with kind of a harder way. The harder way to do it is basically to do it yourself. And that's to go to the position, click on the position time watch, and then go with like a few frames forward, click on and make another keyframe. So just move the left and right one really small, like two, you only wanna go like two, two values, either increase or decrease. So if it's at 960, just do 964, 965. And same with also the other position. So 550 or 548. And now you wanna keep constantly doing that and do it on repeat. And then you get something like this. So you get something like this, it's okay. It doesn't really look the greatest, but it'll do. I kinda of messed up the keyframes right there, but that doesn't matter. That's the one way you can do it. Now let's get on to the easy way. If you look in the link description and you go and get the text and logo presets, I will show you really quick. All you have to do, you will get an entire pack just like this. So you get this logo that has these bunch of effects that we were actually gonna look at too. Plus this text animations. Plus if you go right here, it should be, the text should be in, the shakes should be in the text animations. But I have them just down here because I use them so much. And all you have to do, is drag any of these. So this shake, let's just see this shake. That shake looks pretty good. It actually looks exactly like his if we just play his really quick. So it has that nice shake to it. Or we can add either a faster shake so you get kind of a, more of a variety. It's more aggressive. You can just do a medium shake or it's nice like wave type of effect. You can do a slow and then you also can do a very fast. This slow is like perfect for if you guys are doing some kind of like outside events or something just like to barely make it move but give it some kind of characteristic. That's also awesome. Now we can make this flicker effect by also using the presets. All you have to do really quick is just find the flicker wherever it is right here. Drag the flicker on top of it. Zoom in. Highlight these keyframes if you want to add it longer. So that's what I'm going to do is make it longer. So just hit paste and you get this flicker effect. You can keep copy and pasting it. So right here, copy paste. And now it has this a longer flicker. That's a pretty nice flicker. I definitely use that. And there's also other ones like you can put on really quick Devin Jaffo's glow that we just made. I have it just saved. So let's say you don't want to do this every single time. You can just get rid of that. Make sure you have your stroke, pop it on, boom. 
you have it automatically. Same with if you guys want like Iman's type of textile that's like a slow jitter animation plus glow. Just make sure to grab the Iman text one, plop it on, you get this nice glow and it also has a shake already added to it. Kind of has that jitter effect that he has. And if you want to edit just like Devin Jaffo, click this video right over here.